So what's my favorite summertime Oreo? Let's peep this out. YouTube and social media, peep this out guys. It's Ian K back again with another one for you. Taking it indoors today, guys. There's a crazy heat wave going on in Southern California right now, so we are all being advised to stay inside. And being that I'm on lockdown right now, I thought I'd take this opportunity to take a look at three of the most popular flavors of Oreos that have come out this summer. And instead of doing three separate reviews for each of the flavors I'm gonna be taking a look at today, I thought I'd knock out one trifecta review to see how they all stack up. So without further ado, let's take a quick look at the packages. We're gonna be starting off with Blueberry Pie Oreos. Guys, this looks pretty interesting, if anything, there. This is exclusive to Target. It's a graham flavored cookie here with blueberry flavored cream on the inside. Looks pretty interesting, and again, the marketing on this one, you gotta love that blueberry pie on the front of the package there. It looks very, very nice. We've got the Ultra Elusive Fruity Crisp. Guys, this was incredibly hard to find for me here on the West Coast. This looks like the golden cookie version of the Oreo that you already know, but if you take a look at the cream in the middle there, it's got specks of what looks like Fruity Pebbles cereal. So very interesting. Almost looks like a variation of the birthday cake version of the Oreo. We're gonna see exactly how awesome this is gonna be. And rounding it out, we have the newly released Choco Chip, which is very interesting. Not chocolate chip, Choco Chip. The big deal with this one is the chocolate looks like it's mixed into that golden cookie and you've also got some specks of chocolate in the cream. Very interesting combination. It's really pretty much a chocolate chip overload all throughout this there. So very curious to see how these are all going to stack up. So without further ado, let's jump into the blueberry pie first, the Target exclusive. I am already not digging the fact that there is no pull tab on the front of this there. Again, the prices of these things, about $2.99 for each of these and you do get a full tab on one of them at least here. This with the choco chip, but not the blueberry. It is what it is, and you're also getting 10 cookies less than normal, but you're still paying the same price, go figure. No! But guys, here we go here, nicely packed as you can see. It's got the three row setup that we all know here, and just right off the bat there, these do look like they are the double stuff versions. A lot of these limited editions, if you take a look on the middle right there, it looks like it's got two little sections of cream put together, but, it actually has a very faint smell of blueberry, which is kind of nice. A little bit more of the artificial blueberry. Almost kind of like blueberry gum, believe it or not. If you guys have ever had like bubble yum, it kind of smells like that. So let me open this one up. Let's crack this open. We got that cream right in there. It's a very nice generically blue color right there. Let's try it real quick by itself. That's like chewed blueberry gum, guys. I don't know about that already. Ooh. It's kind of nasty. Kind of a nasty aftertaste, but let's try it with the cookie and see if it makes a difference. Mmm. The graham cracker cookie saves it just a little bit. It's the essence of a pie crust that you're getting in there because of the graham cracker crust that it's trying to be. But the artificialness of the actual blueberry cream itself, it's really not working for me. This really does taste like you've been chewing gum for a little while, and it's really not a very nice flavor, the aftertaste either. Mmm, not a fan of this one. Oh, definitely not a fan of this one. Very artificial. I like the concept of what it is, naturally because it's a little different and the packaging definitely looks good. But guys, no, 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 no bueno on this one for me. Bomb Sexy Fear Face scale of one to 10. I'm gonna go with a three out of 10 on this one. This is easily not something I would recommend by far. And if something is gonna remind you of chewed gum that you've had in your mouth for a while, no. definitely no bueno on that one. Guys, let's jump on over to the Fruity Crisp Oreo. Very curious about this one. Still not liking the fact that there is no pull tab on this, but I can tell you guys, wow, I am already getting a strong Fruity Pebbles hit. That is classic like I remember as a kid. That really smells good, actually. Oh man, that is spot on Fruity Pebbles, guys. Take a look at that. You think it was Christmas with all the colors going on. Look at the cream completely speckled up with those fruity crisps that are in there. Very cool. Let me pull one of these out here and see. As always, it looks like a little bit less than the double stuff. You can kind of see the two layers that are kind of folded on top of each other there. So it does look like there is a little bit extra cream in these. And of course, you've got that golden cookie. Let me open this up here. Take a nice look at that. That is actually a pretty decent amount of Fruity Crisp flakes that they have on the inside. And man, this is spot on Fruity Pebbles the way it smells. Let me try the cream by itself real fast. Mmm. Oh man. That is awesome. That is awesome. Fruity Pebbles, guys. I'm already digging this already. Let's try it with the actual Golden Oreo together. Give this a shot. Fruity Crisp Oreos. That is truly different. 
That is definitely different. It's very sweet though, guys. That's the only thing. But if you've had Fruity Pebbles in the past, I'm sure many of you have, you already know what to expect. It's a very sweet cereal. The golden cookie on this makes a difference. I think had it gone with the ground flavored cookie, that would have muted the flavor of this just a little bit because the golden cookie is the perfect complement to this, guys. The cream and the Fruity Crisps on the inside are what stands out and that is the highlighting factor of this one. Very hard to find, like I said, if it's still available, I would recommend searching these out. These are pretty amazing. And if you're a fan of Fruity Pebbles in general, you're gonna be right at home with this. This is pretty killer. On the Bomb Sexy Fear Face Scale of 1 to 10, the Fruity Crisp Oreos, rock solid, 8.5 out of 10. Definitely a high water flavor for Oreo right now. And so far out of the three that I've got here, this is easily the leader. This is really, really tasty. A little on the sweet side, like I said, but you do get what they're advertising here. This is just like a bowl of Fruity Pebbles. All right, last and hopefully not least, Choco Chip. And I'm already digging the lift tab here. Let's just pull this back here real fast. Let's see what we're working with. It really makes it so much easier than on the side. Take a nice look at that on the inside there. As you guys can see, looks like we've got some of those chocolate specks all around the cookie itself there. And as you can see in the middle right there in the cream too. Let me pull one of these out. Yeah, it definitely smells like chocolate chip cookies, that's for sure. Really digging that. Really nice presentation, at least because of the mixture there. I love kind of these hybrid cookies that they do. This is truly what gets people to try something different, something new. And it's not just the usual black cookie or the graham flavored cookie or just the golden cookie. This looks a little different. Let's open this one up here and take a look at the cream. You can kind of see that in the light there. Little bits of chocolate there, nothing too crazy. It's just a little bit of a hint there. The cream itself is a little bit of a duller type of white. It looks like it's trying to go more for that chocolate cocoa type of look here. Let's try the cream by itself real fast. It's definitely chocolate. I got a little bit of that chocolate speck on the bottom right over there, but I do have to say, I'm getting hints of like mocha. Maybe a little bit of maple that's in there too. That's a little different. That really is different. Hmm. It's definitely different, all right. All right, yeah, that was actually more of a mocha hit right there. Let's try it with the cookie itself and again, Really digging the presentation on this one. Let's give this one a shot. Choco Chip, the latest and greatest so far for the summer from Oreos. Mmm. I'm really getting a nice little distinct chocolate flavor there, but for some reason it really is followed up with more of a mocha type flavor. I know this is not coffee based in any way, but it's got a little bit of that maple hit that I'm getting too. It's like a mocha maple hybrid the way that it is. Very sweet, and again the cream really, really thick on the inside. But the chocolate, that's initially what you're getting with the bite. Then you start to taste a little bit of like the chocolate, but then it quickly goes into mocha and slight, slight hints of maple. It's not bad, but again, it's just really kind of an interesting flavor. I like it though. It's got a nice little variation in flavor there, which makes it a little bit different compared to the others, but it's not nearly as profound as the Fruity Crisp in terms of reminding you of something that you've had previous. This is kind of trying to be a glorified chocolate chip cookie, but with a little bit of extra thrown into it there. And the fact that they call it chocolate chip, which is interesting as well, I guess it's different from marketing there. I do like the flavor, but there's a chance because it's not super distinct as chocolate chip that may throw some people off, but it's not bad for what it is. So on that bomb sexy for your face scale, I went to 10, I'm gonna give the chocolate chip Oreos an eight out of 10. This is actually a pretty tasty flavor, but again, it may throw you off if you're looking for a very rich chocolatey type cookie, like a chocolate chip cookie, a little bit heavy on the chocolate but there is enough variation in flavor on this one to really make it interesting enough to keep going with it there. I do recommend it, it's not too bad. So guys, very curious to know, drop some comments down below if you've had any of these three flavors. Is there one out of these three Oreos that you would prefer over my choice? Or better yet, is there a flavor of Oreo that you have specifically that you think stands above all others? Definitely drop a comment down below, let me know. And that's it for now, gang. This is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, taking a look at the latest and greatest from Oreo for summer 2016, the Target exclusive blueberry pie, fruity crisp, and Choco Chip. Not a bad selection overall, except for this guy right over here, just in my humble opinion, of course. Guys, if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check me out over at peepthisoutreviews.com and keep in touch with me at all the addresses that you see right above me, because after all, this is Peep This Out, baby. You know how we do. We'll definitely talk to you next time. Stay frosty. All right, so is it a budget thing? Is it the flavor of the Oreo itself? What constitutes getting a pull tab on the top of your package over here? That is just not cool that they don't have it on all of them. And the fact that they can come out with some of them and then it has it there, it really, really bothers me. It really does. And there's a lot of people that talk about why is it such a big deal about having this thing. Guys, it's the convenience of having it first and foremost, but it's also to preserve the cookie. That's the thing. If you actually open this up, you can reseal that. What do you do in situations like this? 
You essentially either gotta knock this out in one sitting, which I'm sure some people would probably do anyway because they're Oreos, especially if you like the flavor, with the exception of that garbage right over there. But the idea of it just not being fresh, you really have to knock this out quick or put it into a separate container or something like that. That's just not cool. I mean, this, let me forget with the program with that. Just my humble opinion, of course. I'm definitely an advocate for the pull tab. I think it makes sense. And when you consider that Chips Ahoy has the pull tab on every single package that they make, there's no excuse for that not to be in the Oreos. It is what it is. Guys, until the next review, I'll talk to you soon.